to be sentenced at the end of this month. Breaking now, Antonio Brown's representatives say he has paid off his child support. We broke the news live at 5 that the former NFL player and the current Albany Empire owner had an active warrant out for his arrest because of this. This involves a case out of Broward County, Florida. TMZ was reporting that Brown ducked out on $30,000 in child support payments that had been required uh, to be made to his ex, Wiltrice Jackson. Jackson and Brown were dating one another during Brown's playing days with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they had a daughter together. Brown's been in the headlines for a couple reasons lately. Last week, we reported Brown got into a heated argument with a security guard during halftime of a game at the MVP arena. Last month, we reported Brown was being sued by a jeweler who claims Brown stiffed him for more than a million bucks. Now. Big Board Sports with Roger Wiley. Well, a very good evening, everybody. The New York Knicks did exactly what they needed to do in Cleveland, right? Get a split of the first two games of the series. And now the home court advantage is in their court at Madison Square Garden, which was sold out tonight, rocking game number three on a Friday night. And R.J. Barrett, who's been silent in the first two games of this series, what do you know? He comes, a little coming out party for Barrett and gets it going right there on the drive. The Knicks played exceptional defense tonight, folks. Jalen Brunson off the turnover here. 21 for Brunson, and the Knicks are up by 11 at the half. And then Emmanuel quickly, another player who was due to step up, knocked down some shots, gets a good look from three, and it goes. And New York is up by 13 points at the half. Third quarter, yeah, more of Barrett. Barrett getting to the rim. How about 19 to lead the way for Barrett tonight? Team effort all the way around. Julius Randle, who didn't have his best game, still throws one down here. And the Knicks were rolling. And it was all New York tonight, in this, in, especially in the second half in game three to take a two games to one lead with a 99 to 79 win at the Garden. All right, the Boston Celtics have dominated the first two games of this series. But they lose tonight in game three in Atlanta, 130 to 122. Trey Young with 32 tonight for the Hawks. All right, here at home, the Albany Patroons uh, so far cruising through this young season. And they were back home at historic Washington Avenue Armory hosting Tri State. And the Patroons, well, they turn in a dominating performance against the Admirals. Mustafa Treor, one of five Patroons in double figures. And he's Going to work there off class with the left hand. Good balance in the scoring department and then exceptional defense. And Jamil Hood here has a sequence late in this game when he showcases his scoring talents. The former News Channel 13 All Star from Green Tech ends up with 13. And the Patroons go to 12 and 2 with a 123 79 win. All right, to baseball and locally. Shenandoah at Colony, that was our headline game today in the Suburban Council on this Friday afternoon. And it was a beautiful day. Shenandoah uh, entered 6-0 and in the Suburban, 7-1 and overall. Colony, 4-1 and in the, in the Council, and 6-2 and overall. And Shen gets to work with three runs in the first inning on just two hits. Brad Curtis, base hit to right. Ryan Cronin scores. Curtis with three hits on the day and four RBIs. Colony in in trouble in this first inning, but Tyler Figueroa keeps that damage to a minimum. Nice play there as he turns the double play all by himself, but still a run scored. It was three to nothing. Really, the story today Colony committed seven errors and only had three hits as the Fordham bound James Reddick got the win on the mound for Shen and they rolled to a 13 to nothing victory. How about some scores on the Callan Industry scoreboard? Niskayuna, blank Saratoga, seven nothing. Burnhill. Beat Averill Park 13 to 4. Elsewhere on the Friday afternoon schedule, B Spa over Schenectady 5 to 3. Gilderland shuts out CBA 6 nothing. Cole Miller, who's headed for a Wake Forest. Really good pitcher. Uh, seven innings gives up two hits and 12 strikeouts for Doug LaValle's team today. And then rounding it out, Columbia over Shaker, three to one. You Albany men's lacrosse team lost at home on Friday night to Yale, 14 to six. And the Great Danes, uh, well, they'll be, they'll be, forget it, move on, flush it, because they come right back out and they'll host Merrimack on Sunday 
at 12 noon. Baseball in the bigs. Toronto beat the Yankees 6 to 1. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., first inning home run off Domingo Harman, who took the loss after giving up four earned runs in six innings. Alex Verdugo, homer for the second straight game. Nick Pavetta got the win, and the Red Sox get it done 5 3 in Milwaukee. And there the New York Mets have an early 1 0 lead on the San Diego Padres. Right. And that'll do it in sports. We'll see you on open. Well, I don't know if I'll see you, but Won't I'll be me. there. 8 a.m. <laughs> Cook Park, opening day for Colony Little League tomorrow. And you should have great weather for it. That's what I'm fired up about. Yes. Let's take a last look at our forecast here tonight. Uh, not too chilly, actually. 52 degrees, thickening clouds.